Hi, I'm Joe Silvera, and today we're here at the Silvera Jewelry School in Berkeley, California to review how to operate and use uh, two of our favorite butane torches by Blazer, the Stingray and Big Shot. Let's go to it. These are the two butane torches we use here at the Silvera Jewelry School at each of our student benches. On the left is the Blazer Big Shot, and on the right is the smaller Blazer Stingray. I'm going to start with the Stingray to show you how to use it, but before we get started, make sure that you're aware of how to set up to solder and work with the torch safely in your home studio. We have a separate video on our website on how to safely set up to use butane torches and solder in your home studio. So please review that. I'll go over a little bit of safety when we go over the torches, but don't forget to watch that other video. So before I do anything, I'm going to bring in my fire safe surfaces, the solder board, and the charcoal block. These are the only surfaces that are safe to point the flame at while you're igniting it, while you're using it, and when you're turning it off. So make sure that at all times the flame is pointed at these safe surfaces and that they're clear of any flammable or meltable objects. In fact, you want to make sure that your butane fuel and your uh, other torch are clear of this area while you're using a torch. To refuel one of these torches, you simply take the standoff for the Blazer Stingray and you'll expose the fuel port at the bottom. The torch is upside down, safety lock is on, gas is turned off. You don't hear any butane and you don't see any flame on the end. We recommend using Blazer fuel for the Blazer torches. It's super refined and clean and will help your torch last a long time. Shake the fuel up a little bit and the canister for, of fuel is upside down. Go ahead and press that in tightly to create a seal and you're looking for a big wet spray back when it's full. Like that. Sometimes it'll take a few seconds if the torch is already mostly full or it may take 10 or 15 seconds to fill up an empty torch. You should wear safety glasses, do this away from your face, and it's better to do it away from the bench where these surfaces may still be hot and away from any other open flames, of course. Once you've refueled, generally let the torch stand upright for a few minutes to let any air bubbles work their way out so that it doesn't flutter or disturb the flame. We're going to go ahead and get started with this little guy right now. So to use the Blazer Stingray, it has very simple operation. You have a safety lock here on the top. This is the safety lock. When it's down, the safety's on, and you're not able to bring the gas lever up to turn on the gas. So in order to start using the torch, you have to release the safety. It stays up, so you don't have to keep putting it up and down. Once up while you're using it, then if you have to go away for lunch or something, turn it off if you're going to be away from the torch. So we're going to turn the gas on and simply press the trigger. That ignites it. Sometimes you have to hit the trigger a few times to get the igniter to catch. Notice you don't have to keep your thumb on the trigger to keep the torch on. When you're done, simply turn the gas all the way off. And always check to make sure you don't see a butane flame on the end of the torch anymore, that it's fully extinguished, and that you don't hear that like a slight hiss of butane. That means the butane is still coming out of the torch even though it's not lit, so make sure it's fully off. So you don't hear butane, you don't see a flame. Let's try the Blazer Big Shot now. Big Shot. The Blazer Big Shot operates pretty similarly to the Stingray. Your fuel port for refueling is here on the bottom, but you don't have to remove the stand since it's already exposed and easy to get to. You have the gas knob right here, which turns the gas on, and your trigger. Simply open the knob to the left, then hit the trigger. Again, you don't have to hold down the trigger to keep the torch on. To turn it off, just turn the, the gas knob to the right until the flame is out and the gas is off. The flame on the Big Shot is adjustable. When you turn it on, you can turn the gas down to shrink the flame or turn it up to maximize it. You don't have to turn this knob 
on very much to get a big flame. Maybe about a half a turn to get the maximum flame. Whenever using any butane torch, you want to always stand it up when you're done. Never lay it down, especially never lay it down on a flammable surface because this nozzle here gets very hot and could cause a fire if it smolders. It's better to just let it sit up like that. It'll cool off in a few minutes and be safe. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact us at Silvera Jewelry School at silverajewelry.com.